Welcome to Palette Collection Bingo, week number 32. I put all of my palettes in a spreadsheet, and once a week I use a random number generator, and it tells me which palette I'm going to do for you. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy, and I'm really happy that you're here. Today's palette, I'm pretty excited about, is the Dangerous Love palette from Revolution. It is Batman. It's Batman and Catwoman, and, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with her being in there. This is a fairly recent release. I feel like it was around Valentine's Day, actually. Well, because you know, love and all that. Um, I think it was around Valentine's Day. But yes, this is from Revolution, and I have used it a couple of times. And when I'm sitting here thinking about what I'm going to do today, I had a different uh, picture in my mind of what the palette looked like. So I will show you the palette. It does have a color saver, and it has all of the shade names on the color saver. So I'm going to put that aside because I'm not going to be able to read it anyway. So I'll just show you what the colors look like. So it does have a mirror. So I'm holding it upside down. As you can see, there's a big mix of, there's some neutrals, there's some pinks and some purples, um, shimmers, mattes, uh, really, really deep black here. Um, yeah, when I first, when this palette first came up, um, in my random number generator. I'm like, well, I'll just do a pink and purple look. All of the mattes are, are neutrals, warm neutrals, uh, browns. Yeah. So I don't know really what I'm going to do because we have a purple here. You, it doesn't look purple. It has a shift to it. A purple here, purple here, pink, purple, pink. They're all shimmers. So and what I don't want to do is do a copy of last week with the warm tones. So I almost redrew. And I'm like, no, I like this palette. I'm going to use it. So we're just going to play around. We're just going to play around and see what happens. Oh, so I put my hair back. We're just going to go ahead and get started. One, two. My eyes are primed with the Ace Beauté. Ace Beauté. Um, eyeshadow primer in the shade Light. And I'm going to set that with... This shade right here. Right here. <laughs> I hope everyone has had a great week this week. Tell me something good. Tell me something good that happened to you this week. I want to celebrate with you. I want to know. And I'm nosy. But I do. I want to celebrate with you. Um, this was a long week at work for me. I worked Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night. Um, I do work 11 hour nights. If you didn't know, I work 11 hour nights. I get off at 430 in the morning and it has been very, very busy. You would think that working um, nights all night uh, wouldn't be very busy, uh, but it is. It is. It's very busy. Um, that went on very nicely. Um, I do like this formula a lot. I know that Revolution gets kind of a bad rap, and I don't understand it. Uh, they did just file for bankruptcy. Did you know that? Did they file for bankruptcy? Something happened. Now I can't remember what happened. I'll try to remember. Or I'll, I'll try to remember throughout this thing, but um, Ash from Makeup and Chaos sent me a link to a... Uh, to an article I get all my I get all my makeup news from them they're on it they're on it um, I'm going to go into this shade right here and I'm going to use it as a transition um, as I was saying uh, very busy at work however I'm off um, this is I'm filming this on Thursday night you're going to see it on Friday I'm off tonight, so Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and Saturday night is my class reunion. Um, it is because, because our class is jank and has never, we've never had a reunion because nobody wants to pay for anything. Um, we have decided, well, not we, I'm not, I'm not on the planning committee. I don't do that. Plus, I don't have time for that. Um, we, well, I said we again. 
the powers that be, my friends, my actual friends, um, who are planning this, have decided to make it a 90s party. Um, I graduated in 91, halfway through 91, because I took some classes in summer school, so I could get the heck out of there because I did not have a good high school experience. Um, this is going on very nicely. I really like this. Um, not any patchiness. Uh, so far, no fallout, but it is a lighter shade. Yeah, I like that shade. I do. Um, so to keep costs down, well, so they're making it a 90s party and it's going to be anywhere from like 89 to 95 or something like that who are invited. People that we went to school with um, is who we're inviting. So I graduated in 91. So we were... So the people that were freshmen when we were seniors, uh, we still, you know, have a rapport with some of them, um, especially like I was a cheerleader. Um, the other cheerleaders, band people, you know, any kind of um, extracurricular that had mixed grades in it, which was almost all of them. So that's fun. Um, what am I going to do now? I'm going to go into, I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference, but I am going to go into this shade. It's a little darker. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Um, this was a, this was an Angie hot. No, it isn't. I always say that, but it, it looks just like it. This is BH Cosmetics brush. I always say it's an Angie hot and flashy BK beauty brush, but it's not. Where's that one? I have one that is an awesome crease brush. You know, it doesn't matter. Like when I do a lot of neutral looks, I don't mind reusing brushes. I clean them off with my color switch, but I have some that have some pretty bright, pretty bright shades on them. Um, so I am going to go in that shade and I'm going to put it in my crease. Um, what was I saying? So it's going to be a nineties party with several grades and, um, we are supposed to dress like the nineties. So Anthony and I actually went out shopping tonight. I went to Goodwill and bought some, a uh, little bit oversized jeans that I'm going to cinch very tight with a belt. Um, and I bought a vest, a, a denim vest that has bright colors on it and some big old silver hoops. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to wear a black long sleeve, like kind of like a, a skinny tee, but a long sleeve, like more form fitting, um, underneath the vest. And I have bought a, bought, bought a pair of boots, a lace up boots that I swear I had the same boots. I swear I did. Maybe not, but I swear I did. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, this didn't really give me much dimension. So I'm going to take this color to rain brush clean it off a little bit. And I'm going to go into this brown shade right here. And I'm hoping it's not too awfully warm. Like I said, I don't really want a copy of last week's look. Um, to keep costs down, I mean, we're, we're having it a very nice venue, but to keep costs, keep costs down, we do, we are not getting catering. Um, we, there's a food truck. There's going to be a food truck outside. So that's fun. And cash bar, which may or may drop, may or may not drink. And because it's a cash bar, I'm thinking about taking a cooler, putting it in my car. Because that's the jank ass shit that we did at our high school. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. As much as I hated high school, as much as I had a really terrible experience. I did make some really great friends and I am looking forward to seeing them. So that's going to be fun. I am going to film it. I'm going to film my get ready with me um, on Saturday. You probably won't see it until Sunday or Tuesday or something, but I am going to film it. Um, I don't know if I like that. It's kind of getting a little muddy. But we're going to cover up, we're going to cover up that anyway. I'm getting a little bit of fallout. 
and I'm getting a little bit of creasing here. Uh, my brush is a little big. I do have a smaller colored rain brush that I like a lot. That guy. Um, and I'm going to go back into that darker brown and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes. Just right, right there. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, I, since it's Saturday night, I'm taking Sunday night off. We have Monday for the holiday, Monday off for the holiday. So I'm off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I work Tuesday and then that's a short week. So then I'll be off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I get lots of days off. I'm hoping to film lots of things for you guys because I don't know if you realized. And if you didn't, that's fine. No big deal. Um, I didn't have any videos come out this week. This is the first video this week. I didn't do a mask Monday and I didn't do any other videos. In a second, I'll tell you why that was. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go into this shade right here. And I'm going to buff out that top line and kind of blend that out a little bit. I filmed last weekend. I spent four hours filming five videos of my palette collection and declutter. And I thought maybe I would do it tabletop. So, you know, you could see the, ta the, the palettes on the top of my desk here. Um, and I had the, the filming area, I had it taped off to where, you know, so I wouldn't be out of frame. I get done filming. I'm going to take this big fluffy brush and I'm just going to, and it's just a clean brush. I'm just going to blend that, all that out. Um, I get done filming. I go downstairs to and and upload them to my computer and I realize that they're all vertical instead of horizontal. And I was like, oh crap. Well, so in looking on my editing software, I did have a way to fix that. I'm like, yay, I can fix it, right? Half the palettes were out of frame on all of the videos, not just one video, all of the videos. When I was showing the palette, I didn't have it forward enough because I had the, I had the camera out looking this way. So if I would have had the palettes facing me, they would have been upside down to you guys. So I had them away from me facing out this way. The top of the palettes were out of the, the bigger fat palettes were out of frame and the smaller palettes, I didn't have forward enough. So it was just, it was just bad. Um, there were a lot of bad words being said, bad words being said, let me tell you. So I'm going to try to do it again this weekend. So yeah, that was really sucky. Hmm. Hmm. All right, you guys, shimmer time. I think I'm going to, I'm going to take this shimmer right here and put that mid lid and over to the edge. I don't remember if I have to spray these. I'm going to do it anyway. Just because I don't want any fallout. That is a very pretty shimmer. Oh, I like that shade. It's like, it's not really an, a bronze or a copper. It has a little bit more pink to it. Oh, that's pretty. It has a little bit more pink to it than a copper. But it's kind of a copper, kind of. But yeah, it has more pink to it than that. That's pretty. I like that. And I had used that shade before, but I don't really remember using it. I don't know what shade. Oh, there is a brown that's kind of more of a satin, not quite a shimmer. More of a satin. Maybe I'll do that in the corner, outer corner. Oh, that is a really pretty shimmer. I love that. I don't remember that. I know it's used. It's been used. I don't remember it. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, goodness. So now, what am I going to do now? I kind of toyed with the idea of using that green. But again, I did 
like a terracotta with a teal on the lid and gold last week. Didn't want to do that. Um, I'm going to take the champagne color. I was going to use that as my inner corner. Use that as my inner corner. Um, but I'm going to put that in the front part of my lid. Oh, I feel, I feel some fallout. I feel a little bit of fallout from that. That's pretty. I like that. Um, I've used that. Mm, I don't know. I might have just swatched that shade. Might not have actually used it on a look. I It's been a while. I used it. Oh, I think Anthony and I were going out to dinner one night and I used this palette. And I can't remember what I did. But I can see the shades that I used and they're pretty much the shades I'm using now. I'm kind of disappointed that there isn't a purple matte. What is that? Yeah, that's a shimmer. Um, a purple matte. There is a light pink matte, like a cotton candy, cotton candy pink matte. I'm going to take the other side of the brush. Just kind of blend those two together. If you know me, I don't like the lines. I like a gradient. Take a little bit without spraying it. Kind of put it on the lid. Those are beautiful shimmers. You guys, Revolution is not a bad brand. It's not a bad brand. People, people give it hate. And I don't know why. I really like Revolution. I have... I have two other Batman palettes. Uh, I have a... a Halloween uh, release. It was Bart Simpson. It was The Simpsons. I have the Bart Simpson palette um, that I got on sale. I am going to take that dark brown. It's a shimmer right here. And I am going to put that in my outer corner. I may end up using the black. But I really don't want that. I just want to deepen this up a little bit. Um, I feel like these shades are really pigmented and of course, the Marilyn Monroe palette I freaking love, but that is a Revolution Pro, so it is a little bit bougier. A little bit of a bougie, bougier um, part of Revolution. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. It just deepened it up just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. I like that. Um, I did get more fallout. Um, and I'm going to take this little brush right here, and I'm going to go into that shimmer, that first shimmer I used, the coppery pinky. Spray it a little bit, and I'm going to put that underneath my eye. Man, I have a lot of palettes that are the same, like same types of shades, which is one reason why I'm doing a declutter, um, because I'm just not reaching for those, um, you know, all the ones that I have, I'm just not reaching for them. I'm going to take this, uh, just a brush, a blending brush, a crease brush, whatever, but I'm going to blend out this bottom this bottom lash line. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Yeah, I like it. It's not, it's not anything crazy. It's neutral. It's neutral, you know. But, you know, I was very, I'm very limited. I mean, yes, there are, like this, this purple here, 
Look at that purple. It's like a why my lighting does that I like exposes you see that that's really pretty and then this purple here is also a very pretty shimmer and then we have this pink uh, it's kind of more of a violet right there you know those are beautiful shimmers I love them they're so pretty but I feel like they need a matte that complements it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't like brown and purple together. I don't like that. That kind of turns me off. I don't like it. All right, you guys, I'm going to golf camera. I'm going to do liners, lashes, lips, liner, lashes, lips, brows, of course, because I always forget to do those. And I'll be back. Uh, we'll talk, we'll discuss, and um, don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Finished look. It's okay. I mean, it's, it's all right. I just think it's very reminiscent of some of the other looks I've done recently. So I'm going to make a deal with you guys. Um, the next, next week when I do my random number generator, if it is a neutral palette, I'm, I'm picking something else. I've done several neutral palettes in a row. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, but today we did use the Dangerous Love Batman. Love Batman. Love him. I love him. And this is what the palette looks like. We used the very neutral shades because that's what the mattes are. Mer. Yeah, I'm not real happy about that. Um, I mean, I'm happy I bought the palette. This is Batman. I bought it for packaging. I didn't even think that I would like the color story. And I do like the color story. I just wish there were some cooler toned uh, mattes. Yeah. Rest of my face. Um, I do have one. I don't usually tell you guys what I have on my face. I always have it linked in the description box below. Some of them are affiliate links. I might get a couple pennies. Not all of them are though. Um, I have the Neutrogena CC cream one. I use the number three vanilla, number four sand. Um, I have those on. I've been wearing that a lot lately. The Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for contour. Milani Bronzer for bronzer. That's crazy. I'm wearing the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Rosy. And, um, is that all I have on my face? I have the Essence Pure Nude Bronzer, or I'm sorry, Highlighter. Pure Nude Highlighter. Um, as a highlight. And then, so on my eyes, I have, I tight lined. I tight lined with the KVD um, cake liner. I'm really sad when this goes away. And then I have two coats of the Tristique, my favorite for lengthening and separating. And then I am using uh, two coats of the Essence Lash Princess um, False Lash Effect. It is the, like the aqua color on the lips I'm using the NARS lip crayon in good times it is a nice little neutral nude and on top of that I have the Hank and Henry lip luster this is really cool because it looks like a lipstick a bullet lipstick it's not it's gloss it's a lip luster and it is in the shade Nirvana it smells like teen spirit that's it. Uh, my eyebrows went a little dark, you guys. My brows went a little dark today. I didn't use really anything different. Um, I used, this is the That's Taupe palette from ColourPop. And I normally use this from here down and then this up here. And I don't know what happened. They're a little dark. It's fine. I don't, I don't care. So anyway, thanks you guys for joining me for week 32 of my palette collection bingo series. I really appreciate you being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.